There are many stories that go untold every day, but thanks to the efforts of the City of Birmingham and U.S. Representative Terry Sewell, the story of Birmingham will never go untold. In one of his last actions as president, Barack Obama signed a proclamation naming the Birmingham Civil Rights District a national monument. This makes Birmingham Civil Rights District part of the national park system. It is not lost on us that this president has done so much to complete um, the American history story of the journey of so many people, diverse people, that make up this wonderful country of ours. And we are just so happy that Birmingham is added to the rich legacy of the pre this president's uh, administration. Receiving the designation is expected to have a significant economic impact and attract more tourists coming to the Magic City. The Birmingham City Council says it's important that we never forget Birmingham's rich history, but teach younger generations about the essence of which Birmingham was founded upon. An opportunity to teach our children uh, the history of Birmingham and what it meant, uh, not only to Birmingham and the region, and save Alabama, but even the world. You'll be surprised. Black history is not taught for one month around the country in African American schools. So that money will help us to teach our children year round. The National Park Service announced funding for 39 projects in more than 20 states to preserve sites related to the Civil Rights Movement. The 16th Street Baptist Church was among those granted $500,000 for preservation, repair, and restoration. John Jarvis, director of the Park Service, says helping to broaden the story and fill in the gaps of the civil rights movement is the goal of this park designation. Park Service doesn't go where it's not invited. Yeah. And uh, we felt very, very welcome uh, into the community uh, as a partner uh, to, uh, to tell the story uh, of Birmingham, of A.G. Gaston, and the 16th Street Baptist Church. Now that the story of Birmingham will be told nationally, the Birmingham City Council is hopeful that younger generations will begin to understand just how far Birmingham has come. Now we're very intentional about talking about Black Birmingham and not just seeing us on the news because something wrong has happened, but to talk about the good and the very essence of who we are as a people and why it was so important that we didn't forget the folk, the bridge, who helped to bring all of us as Black elected leaders today across. For all the latest news and information, connect with our community or visit our website and subscribe to news updates.